Another viewer from Worthington wants to know, how can we stop mo more money from going toward roundabouts? Well, we'll take that question. Ask the engineers. So that's right. We'll ask the engineer. So we'll, we'll take the roundabouts question, but we'll do it more broadly and talk about transportation generally, because we also have another viewer who wants to know what the chances are of a gas tax passing, and uh, there are some complex issues in the transportation area. But um, first of all, uh, what's your position on roundabouts? And once we get through with that, let's talk about transportation more generally. Uh, well, roundabouts have their place in certain areas. Uh, we have one on my way to work that is right by the Twin Bluff Middle School. Uh, it's great. It, it's really made it a very safe intersection yeah. now for the kids and, and the parents dropping their kids off, the buses going through, and then uh, people going through on their way to work and what have you. Uh, but there are other roundabouts out there that don't work very well. Uh, they get beat up pretty bad by the 18-wheelers because they're not engineered or built big yeah. enough to handle these larger trailers going around the corners and that. Yeah. Um, but they do have their places uh, in, in areas. Uh, I do have one area down in, in the Wanamingo area that uh, has a chance would happen, and we talked about it the other day. And there's talk of putting in a roundabout in at this intersection, which makes absolutely no sense. All we need to do is get people to slow down a little bit you know, maybe 45 or 40 versus a 60, uh, rather than getting them down to 15 miles an hour to try to go around this roundabout. It would be a lot lot better savings, I think, if you uh, would look at putting in the traffic approaching signs mm -hmm. and, and then have the signs to slow you down. Uh, Transportation generally, gas taxes, all of that. What do you have to say about that? Uh, well, the gas tax, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the gas tax, uh, especially with one that's going to be an incremental increase over 10 years. Uh, I do like the fact that we are taking the uh, we, we took money from the existing sales on, on car repairs and services uh, and put that money the last couple couple of years into in, into transportation over and above uh, the, the concern I have with the gas tax is those folks who can least afford it are going to get hurt the most because uh, they're struggling paycheck to paycheck and it, you know to add that kind of tax onto them is, is very very difficult. Uh, many counties are doubling their their wheelage tax from ten dollars to twenty dollars. Uh, so, and then when you look at the uh, the, the potential for the uh, ten year old and older cars, the registration tab fee for going from thirty five to seventy dollars. Uh, there's just a lot of those little things that add up to a lot for uh, those that are having the most difficult time. Um, we have other ways to fund fund road and bridges, and we can we can do it that way. Representative, your thought, transportation? Well, first of all, in the roundabouts, there are a lot of rural ag equipments that don't have compatibility with a roundabout. And also we have to look at when you do overpasses of some of the stuff. In greater Minnesota, there's a little bit different variation that you need to, to do with that. So uh, one five size doesn't fit all. I think it's many of the new approaches, like on 52, Instead of having crossings, they will have where you can come on, you go up a ways, and then you, you do a U, you come back, and then you exit. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen the data on the studies for that, but I'm sure that there are creative ways to take care of that. Um, you know, the gas tax, as we get better mileage, we have more alternative fuels, uh, that's why we're in the situation now as we too long have depended on it as opposed to, uh, you know, looking forward. Anything related to transportation, I think, should be uh, aimed at transportation and maybe look at uh, how, what the long-term funding is going to be because, you know, if we went uh, in 10 years to half of the vehicles being alternative, uh, the gas tax revenue uh, dries up and you couldn't make it high enough. Well, for now, we need a gas tax because I don't want to be responsible for another bridge collapsing. So we, we've really delayed investment in our roads and bridges, and the gas tax is maybe a short-term um, revenue source where we have to diversify because we have electric vehicles more and more coming on the market, but we need something now, and it could be a gas tax. And to ease the burden on working families to have to pay a higher gas tax, um, we're going to see some... Um, tax advantages for working families. So they'll see tax discounts or tax rebates or tax credits in the, t in the tax bill coming out at least the House of Representatives to balance that. Uh, I happen to like roundabouts, um, but they have to be engineered correctly. You have uh, a few of them in Cottage Grove, <laughs> We too. do, we do. Uh, you're welcome for that. Uh, it's county commissioner, um, you know, as uh, it uh, 
Uh, oh, so you getting both your yeah, and, yes, and as a city council member, I don't hide from it. Um, so it, 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 they have to be engineered correctly and, and, and put in the right area. You know, they really do well with um, um, safety, uh, traffic, con traffic flow, but also they are um, uh, a, a lot of times just um, a safety feature for a community. And so I think um, they they're a benefit. Uh, overall, for transportation, um, you mentioned the um, Senator Goggin, the wheelage tax going up, and, and counties are doing that because the state hasn't fulfilled their obligation of, of transportation funding. And I believe in a pay-as-you-go uh, approach. And so I think a gas tax uh, has to be part of this discussion. Um, the amount, I think, is where the discussion will focus in on. And uh, I totally agree. Uh, gas taxes, cars are getting more efficient, uh, and fuels get fuel efficient, and cars are just getting better mileage in general because they're being engineered better. Um, you know, we we have to look at probably something in the future outside of the gas tax. We have electric vehicles; they don't pay anything into the gas tax. They have an annual when you buy them, you have an annual fee. Why don't we look at that? What about Lyft and Uber? That's now a thing. That wasn't in 08 when I last voted for a transportation bill, and that was the last major investment in transportation was 11 years ago. Um, none of this were factors. So we have to keep that forward-thinking future um, approach uh, in this discussion. Um, I, you know, I, I don't want to borrow and spend. I mean, we and we don't. We have a deficit in in the 20 to 23 years. I already said that tonight. And so to use the general fund to do that, then you're taking away from those seniors and the elder, elderly and the disabled and the hospitals and education, and that's not appropriate either when we're already looking at a deficit. So I, I think we should come up with a, I call it a hot dish of transportation op options, whether it's one-time money, um, uh, gas tax, uh, so just come up with a bunch of uh, different approaches that we can all get behind and invest. But I'm going to end on this with this topic. This is about jobs. I mean, we invest in this. This is good paying jobs to repair our critical infrastructure so that we can move goods and people safely across the state. Well, one last thing, too, is I did receive an email last week from a constituent who has an electric vehicle. Uh, they did the math conversion and said it would take about 52,000 miles a year the equal what I think Senator Howe has the bill for uh, increasing the fee from <laughs> yeah. seven, 75 yeah. to 250 and that individual with the EV car said no way yeah no way so uh, if we go to the more electric <laughs> vehicles how are we going to do this you know and you got to look at the weight of the vehicles yeah. they they that weigh considerably factor. more uh, yeah. than than a tr uh, co yeah. comparable yeah. Uh, gasoline engine. Well, maybe part. it's how many miles you travel. Maybe it's the weight. I mean, this goes to the whole point of being having that future vision in in how we're going to fund transportation. I mean, it, it, you, know, you can even look at a per kilowatt charge. You know. Yep. There you go. So.